Nadura recommends that you start the second chorus at the same corner as the first chorus, following the same steps of working from each corner towards the center of the wall. When placing the second chorus corner forms, each corner form unit will be reversed to create an automatic 16 inch, 406 millimeter offset or bond stack with the form units on the first course. Remember to align the units in place and press the form unit firmly downward until the webs lock together with the form's Duralock technology. A rubber mallet is recommended to properly seat the forms. Nudura recommends that in the corners, four vertical joint clips are snapped into place, locking the corner to the adjacent standard forms. 16 inches, 406 millimeters, is the ideal offset for corner forms. A minimum of 8 inches, 203 millimeters staggering, of the vertical joints should be maintained between courses to ensure that the Duralock technology will lock the forms tightly together. Should a vertical joint be less than 8 inches, 203 millimeters, the contractor installer will need to add additional form support. Form support can consist of sheathing or lumber attached to the fastening strips. If the first course required a vertical stack joint, you will have to ensure that the forms on all consecutive courses are cut identical to the first course, and additional form support is added. Once the second course of forms has been locked into the first course, the horizontal reinforcing steel will once again need to be placed within the webs. Remember to offset the bar location by one notch from the corresponding bar in the course below to ensure the vertical steel can be easily woven between the horizontal steel bars. Once the rebar has been placed, Nudura recommends that a row of form lock be placed in the second row and then every third or fourth course after that within the cavity of the wall to help maintain wall straightness. To install the form lock, place it into the form cavity on a 45 degree angle with the welded crossbars facing up on the ledge of the web. This offsetting of the horizontal bars of the form lock will allow the form lock to be placed easier. Ensure each length of form lock overlaps the previous piece by 12 inches, 305 millimeters. Once the second course has been completed, the forms will need to be leveled to account for any uneven areas of the footings or slab. Although the footing slab can be checked prior to installation of form units, the best method is to correct any deficiencies after the first two courses of Nudura form units are installed. A laser or builder's level can be used to easily set elevations, ensuring the walls finish at the desired elevation. It is easier to fill in hollow or low areas under the form than to cut the form where footings are high. If you encounter a low area, shims are recommended to raise any low spots. Once the forms have been leveled, use Nudura Low Expansion Spray Foam to secure the forms to the footing. Ensure that the footing is free of debris before the spray foam is applied. Now that the layout of the first two courses is complete, the installer can now simply follow the pattern established within the first two completed courses of forms. For additional course placement information, please refer to section 6.4 of the Nudura Installation Manual.